Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, as you can see at the very top here, we are at war with a very certain Austria-Hungary and I'll be honest, it's like our wars with Greece. It's going to be severely one-sided. We've got a couple of comments to go through, but the Japan, the Japanese, the Americans, the French, the Spanish, the Belgians, the Finns, us, and the Germans are all at war for, at Austri with Austria-Hungary because, well, I just want Montenegro. I just want this little dirt patch right here. That's all I want. And, well, I guess their demand, my demands are not met. And we're currently at war with them. Go figure. We're going to be losing maybe a little bit of money, but I don't really care. What matters is that we win this war and beat the snot out of Austria-Hungary. As someone did point out that we're running out of time to avenge 1693, so... Well, it's time to go ahead and move on in, right? Oh. Oh, the Liberia defaults. Better, Liberia better pay the, def the, 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 the payments from here on out. You guys move in there. You guys move on here. Cool. So, yep. I mean, I wanted to go to war with Austria-Hungary because I wanted Montenegro, but... We'll do what we can with Austria, okay? We'll do what we can. There, no promises. No promises, you know, guaranteed. But this is going to hurt our army a little bit, but, you know, whatever. Oh, they're not even mobilized that well. They actually... Terrain minus one. Oh, we have gas attack. I forgot we did get gas attack. Oh, we're just gassing. Oh, it's so sad. So sad. Oh, my goodness. That's so sad. If only we really cared. And I'll, I'll be honest, like, it's very laggy right now just because I'm actually processing another video in the background. My apologies. Um, but it, it is what it is. This is... This war is not going to last very long anyway, so... Really not too concerned about it. Uh... Good. Oh. This, if... If my allies demand a lot of territory, we can see the literal breakup of Austria-Hungary in this war. Oh, Germany, just, even just Germany showing up is just, is enough. But, oh my goodness. And we're trying to get social alienation done. We have so, oh, hello. We just gotta keep an eye on, oh. Um, okay. They're trying to occupy places, we're occupying their places. It's all, it's all a good time for us. We're actually making more money again, nice. I just gotta keep an eye on to make sure that they're not actually attacking any one of our armies, because once they do, well, it's not gonna be good for them. Because defense is very strong. You guys go up there. Yeah, it's just, it's just a lot to look at once, so. Hey, we've got education efficiency, and not bad. We are still a socialist party as well, but you know, whatever. Whatever. We don't even have this yet. Oh, that would be good to get. I would love more morale, but I want some more support attack. Yeah, let's get some more attack. It shouldn't take too long to get either, so. Fiume. Thank you. Go right there. We're working on stuff, and... Oh, enemy of my enemy. Now they want to say a total war. The idea has arisen that the Ottoman Empire should approach Austria-Hungary's enemies to see if there's those who'd join our side against them. This may mean an unholy alliance with those who might never fight our side otherwise. But the, as the old saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. If we were to win the war against Austria-Hungary, we may have to take that to heart. Or any more allies, do it. Sure. Also, we're allied with the French. Oh, the Qing Empire has agreed. We received from the Qing Empire that they agreed to an alliance with it or not, they'll actually live up to the alliance and join us in the war remains to be seen. Oh. Well, we're allied with the French because off screen I got an event saying like the democracies of the world unite. So we, so I was like, okay, sure, why not? Let's try it. So that gave us a, quite a bit more prestige and a free alliance with the French, which obviously going to be breaking when uh, we they go to war with the Germans, the Germans go to war with them. Oh, and the Americans join up too. Okay, whatever, sure. Uh oh, oh boy, what's going on with Germany? Hold on, hold the phone. German war of aggression. Just rebels? Okay. Sure, why not? We have them almost completely surrounded. Actually, I could pull some armies off of here. That would probably be actually a little bit better. Just so we can surround this, these enemies. Alright, very good. I'm keeping one army over here with the Soviets just because I do want to go back to war with the Soviets. And I'll show you guys how, how we did it last time. Oh! Force Austria Hungary to just. Oh! Dismantle their empire! Yes, please. Yes. We have a truce with them until 1907, so a mere two years. A mere two years until we beat them up again. Because we... I don't know. This is what I'm talking about. we got to keep an eye on this stuff. Keep an eye, 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 eye. Oh, we're just straight up gas. Oh, minus one dig in. Minus one terrain or crossing. Oh, we're gassing them. Oh, I love it. Oh, we're getting attacked on here too. Alright, well, good to know. I'd say this is quite dev... Oh my goodness. I'd hate to be them right now. 
They threw in more guys. Hey, Egyptian Tomb Discovered. Uh, I think we read this last time, too, but we get more prestige and more research points. Sure. I'll, I'll, yeah, why not? You know, I'll be honest, in the early parts of this campaign, I'm not sure how good, how well we were going to do, but I'm feeling pretty darn good about it right now, I'll be honest. Alright, so how many dead men are there? Oh, there's so many dead men. Packs? Oh, I got some packs. Oh, wait, what? 36,000? Not enough. Come to board. That'd be good. And also, our population right now is 170 million. And I don't want to forget, I, every time we do this again and we come back together, i got to show you the reforms because sometimes like there's other reforms that happen. So we've got good health care. We've got good school system. We have child labor restricted, but it's not illegal yet. Um, we've got debtor prisons. Meetings allowed, of course. Free press, open borders. All rights are allowed, of course, like normal. So, just got to re remember to show you all that stuff. Ah, Yes. A thousand times yes. I'll be really pissed off. Well, not really pissed off, but disappointed if we don't get what we want out of this war. Oh, the hello! The Japanese have actually shown up! Um, I w No one's expecting the Japanese to show up in Austria-Hungary in 1905, but... Alright then. I was... I'm wrong. A little bit of lag, a little bit of lag. That's alright. We got a lot of money too. That is nice. All I wanted was Montenegro. You could not give me Montenegro. War's upon. Oh, hold on. Ottoman Empire is a state of total war with one of the great powers of the world. In a modern age where warfare is the capability of killing millions, the very future of our nation could be at stake. This has gone out to the call to all the Ottoman people. Put aside your petty differences, your day to day lives, and your personal missions. The Ottoman Empire must pull together in this our, in our hour of need. Uh, honestly, I don't know why we're getting this right now. We're not at war with more than one great power, only one great power. Oh. They want Lower Silesia. Oh god, we're really going to be empowering Germany. Which is fine, I don't care what the Germans want. You know, I don't. I really don't plan on going to war with them in this campaign. And actually, the UK broke our line, so they're going to go to war. We're going to go to war with them next, probably, too, so... We'll see what happens. Actually, no, no, I gotta stop saying that. Put this down quickly. Um, Belgium? I'm not sure if I agree with that statement right here. Oh, they have gas attack too! Oh, oh, we don't have gas defense though. That's not good. If we're gonna get gassy, it'd be better to have the defense ready for it. Yeah, I'm not. Sorry, Belgium. Not gonna help you out there. You know, we're crazy and all, but we're not dumb. We're, we're crazy. But we can't, we can't be stupid. Even though I've made that mistake before, I shouldn't be so harsh on the Belgians. We all have to learn from time to time. I'm going to keep an eye on these armies around here. Uh, 2,000. I'm not too worried about that. I'll be honest. Oh, uh, they are gassing us. If we lose... Yeah, I mean, against 2,000, 3,000, that's not too bad. Well, Austria-Hungary is no longer going to be a great power. I still got to play Austria-Hungary someday, too. So, we'll see what happens. No, no, no. God, i got to stop saying that. Don't I? Oh, my goodness. The Japanese... Japan. Did we not just learn a lesson here? Let's see. Austria Hungary. Propose a peace. Uh, negotiating for ourselves. You know what? I want to see this through. I want to see this all the way through. Actually. Oh, we have a thing we could do. Humiliate, but that's just gonna cost us even more infamy, and I don't want to do that. I gotta save the infamy up for like when we dismantle the UK. Oh, we peaced out. Oh, Dismantle the Empire, acquire Lower Silesia, acquire austro -Hung Oh, yeah, buddy boy. Oh, so nice. Build some forts there, because you can. Build Montenegro borders. Ooh, I saw something about Armenia, too. Ooh, while well, independent for a long time, Montenegro never had its full borders officially recognized, leading to claims from Croatia and Bosnia. It's time to change that. Finally, it took until 1905. The Montenegro borders. Hey, look at that Panama Canal. We still want to do that. What is this Armenian question? What is that about? War policy is jingoism? We get a little bit more infamy, you lose some more exhaustion, gain a little bit more money. Turkish tea? You know, that's not a bad idea. Total war? Well, now we're going to be hit by total war, which really, actually, really, really, really sucks. But, actually, we already have a lot of our armies already here just kind of hanging out anyways, so... You guys go down there and then reinforce the border with the Soviets, because we're going back to war soon with them anyways. And within two years, so I'm not too worried about that. Lots of soldiers. Actually, if Austria-Hungary is going to get dismantled, that means we can go to war with 
pretty much... Oh, well, we just lost all that money by... That is disgusting looking. But if we go to war with some other people, that would not be bad. Like, we could probably take... What? Croatia it is? Oh, that... Yeah. We do get to some comments too. And I might want to go to war with the French as well. So, since we're at peace, we can't... Make a switch on, huh? Uh, let's lower this by a little bit more. Let's lower this by a little bit more. Not too much more, but, you know... Just enough so we can make some money. Pay off some debts. Have a good time. You know, the normal stuff. The good stuff. There you go. Uh, I wonder how fast this is going to be as well, just because I want to show you guys without having to fade in, fade out, regarding the... I guess it's kind of, still, kind of over there. Um, the board is what austria hungary is going to look at. So, we'll just keep it together for now. Oh, Vorlberg wishes to join the Confederation. Due to our victorious war, a referendum was held recently by the people of Vorlberg proposing to join the Swiss Confederation, and the overwhelming majority voted in favor. The people of Vorlberg were, are similar to the Swiss and have always considered themselves different from their East German masters. Nevertheless, while Catholic German speaking Swiss are cheering and celebrating the results, some Swiss, particularly the non German speakers, are concerned about the consequences of such an incorporation. If we want to further breaking up the empires of our enemies, we could pressure the Swiss government into accepting Vorlberg annexation. I'm going to let them decide themselves, because maybe we can eventually take out. Oh, there we go. Let them decide themselves. The Treaty of Vienna. And if you like to do that, go right ahead. And Transylvania. Serbia. Oh, Serbia. Hmm. Czechoslovakia's not looking too bad. Of course, they don't have Lower Silesia, which is good for Germany, but... Transylvania's got to go. They have got to go. Acquire state... Oh, my goodness. Can I... What the... Ooh, Trieste. Croatia, huh? Hungary, huh? Hmm. Does Hungary have any cores around here? Is there any way for me to see they've... Huh? Wait. Serbia, Serbia. I don't care much for the Serbs. Maybe we could plump up Hungary. Make them a little bigger. Make them a little puppet. I would prefer you as a puppet, Hungary. I'll be honest. Hmm. Hmm. I don't need him. We'll be alright. Croatia, huh? Actually, you know what? The Serbs are here. I'm going straight up. Just get rid of them. Cool. Here we are, everyone. September 1st, 1908. We've only got 26,000 pounds in the bank. But! So this happened off screen. I was debating whether we should do this or not, but we have to dismantle Cassus Bell against the Soviet Union. Now, this happened because I didn't really read the event too closely, but apparently the Soviet Union was spying on us. Apparently they had that DLC or something, whatever. But, uh... Yeah! We have this war goal until, like, the end of July. So... Now, we're currently doing army NCO training, but... Now, I'd like a little bit more money in the bank, but... You know, we're... We're pretty much ready to go. They're the third largest military in the world, and actually Germany now... Is the number one power in the world because of their in industrial score. Holy cow! And actually, now we're second for prestige because... Off-screen, I got, like... Three separate science events, two for chemistry, one for physics, and we had one of the events that gave me 26 prestige. Like, so, like, the, the button I clicked on said, All shall see our splendor, or whatever that one event was, but you know what? I think it's time to dismantle the communist threat to the north of us. I said last time, the beginning, or the, la the video of the last, the title of the vi last video. Oh, the speech is so hard. Pushing around the Soviets? Well, you know, if we can dismantle the Empire, the Soviet Union, uh, for some reason, Guinea-Bissau is allied to us. It's, an Af it's a West African nation. Somehow they're in my sphere. They're under us. Whatever. I uh, will not accept Finland, Belgium, Spain, Czechoslovakia. We got them as an ally. France, German Empire, America, Japan, Italy. War is upon us, my friends. If you like to read about that, go right ahead. But I know I said I want to go to war with Serbia, but as soon as this popped up, I'm like, you know what? Let's go time. I love it. And also the, the event for trying to take out the, the uh, Armenians disappeared, so. Oh, uh, let's see. I need to get through some more of the comments as well. Let's see. I'm not going to move too many guys up at one time, so. Just to make it look like we don't have enough soldiers on the front. And that everyone, our enemies get a little more confused. Uh, I'll call these two down as well. Because we're going to destroy the Soviet Union in this episode. So, other comments included. Let's see. Actually, I've already read them. Take out Algeria and Morocco and make World War II. Well, to make World War II, we need World War I. 
And even though America said that they discovered that people are just going to be killing each other and we can take more things more cheaply if there's two great powers killing each other, we haven't. We really have not had World War One yet. I mean, as you can tell, we smacked the living crap out of Austria-Hungary, but... You know, they'll get theirs after this war as well. Because we'll go to war with Serbia. We'll go to war with Croatia. And I have the end game, end date for the game in 1980. So we'll go to war with all these little nations here. At least once or twice. We might not be able to full conquest them, but it'll be what it'll be. Good. And Germany's probably assumed leadership. Yes, they have. Oh, we're fighting Persia too. I forgot about that. Oh, that's no problem then. Um, still building more armies up too. Like... I'm not sure what to say. Just, just building up more armies. If this is the case, I'm going to actually have you guys come up here, Zithlomir. And I'll have you guys come to Karlsten, maybe. And you guys can come to Kiev. It's going to be the end of the Soviet Union, so. Oh, they also annexed to Kassia, too, so. Go figure. There we go. The first couple are getting uh, taken out. That's good. we got to go to Persia as well. Not much is happening over there, which is fine. I'm actually going to send you to Tbilisi, whatever it is, and I'll send you over to Rasht. Oh, the German hordes are just moving into the, the Soviet lands. Oh, what's going on here? Hungary declare war on Serbia. You know, they do that. Okay. Why not? And I'm sure, yeah, they've definitely mobilized, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, so you guys move that way, you guys move down that way. Actually, I'll move you guys over there. I'm actually going to move you guys over here. It'll be fine, whatever. Makes it a little easier on us. Say a zen, huh? Alright, well, I guess we're going that way then. Good. Uh, first one's done, Odessa. Time to go to Odessa. Time to go to whatever place that is called. Alright. I'll keep one army over here, and actually keep one army near the capital. I mean, we have one, uh, well, kind of okay. Hmm. Send them down to Persia if you really feel like it. They're almost done here, too. Nice. Put this down quickly. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. A little strap for time at the time of this recording, but whatever. Even though we won't be able to annex these lands, we won't be able to, be able to annex all the lands that come out of there if we do go to war with them, which we probably will. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Alright, go ahead and come to Baku. Actually, you go to Baku. You just go right there. We're going to surround this division, this army. And you guys go down there too. We'll take out those guys. That'll be nice. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should pause it real quick. Oh, we had some elections too, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Socialists, we still got the pro-military socialists. So that's fine with me. If we suppress people, that means they get more pissed off, maybe. And then they want reforms. So that's good. Hopefully. I think that's what it's supposed to be like. Oh, I could be completely wrong, though. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe I should pay attention a little bit more. Are we gassing them? Yes. No, they're gassing us because we have no gas defense. That sucks. But the more gas attack we take, the faster we get gas defense. So. Colonial. Oh. Nope. If you like to read about this, Colonial Progress, that's good. Lose consciousness, fantastic news, very good. France. I was going to break my alliance with them. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. As long as we can keep them with, together under us for now, it's fine. Please don't get gas defense again. I don't like getting gassed. But then again, does anyone really like getting gassed? Not me. There we go. Keep an eye on Persia. We're doing a great job. So this battle should go okay for us. They're probably still gassing us, whatever. Oh, Austria's riding. Um, wait, 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 what's going on? Did Germany peace out? The Japanese Qing War decided to break my lines with those guys. Um, what is going on? You guys are so all over us, yeah? What's America doing? Oh, they're fighting them too, huh? Fascist coup d'etat on Chile. Well, that's a little early, you know, just saying, that's a little early. Whatever. Kiev. Oh, yeah. Still lost less men. That's good. And they did, so. They're headed to... Oh, well, on the 20th. We'll get there beforehand, and that means they're attacking us, actually. Oh, uh, well, I guess not, then. Oopsie. 
That's alright. Y'all come. Well, that's all a few too many guys. They'd still actually be able to hold out pretty darn well. Keep our guy right there. You guys just go, go there and get to Tehran again. I love taking out Tehran. 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 Are they still. Are they taking us again? They must be. Kursk. Um. Netherlands? Ah, oh, we're good. Your wars still going pretty well. They still have 600 some divisions to get rid of, but hey, that's not bad. Uh, you guys hanging out. This army is looking incredibly weak. I'm going to go ahead and retreat you guys down here. So, you guys hang out. Feel good. Uh, what is Japan up to? Uh, sure. Oh, wait, no, not that one. No, I'm at war with China, too. Actually, you know what? You know what? Uh, since we're ahead of them, I could probably just piece them out, right? Uh, I really don't care about the Chinese. I mean, I don't mind allying them, actually. If anything, I kind of prefer being allies with them, but whatever. Uh, what are we doing over here? Nothing. Too many guys around here, to be honest. Uh, Poti? Not bad. Not bad. Tehran is next. Oh, we have that ar other army here, too. Let's go to... Is that Ham? Elam? Hmm. The province of Ham. Nice. Alright, who's next? Is it... Is that... Is it Donov? Wait, is it Donov? That's a guy from TNO, isn't it? Hmm. Did they just... Now that is a disgusting hungry. Oh, they allied the Americans too, wow. Sure, come on in if you need to. Um, Japan? Hope you do well there. Uh... Guys, that's probably not very smart to do. All we need is one massive battle, and we can just wipe them out. Wipe out their score. Yeah, guys, that's not very smart to do that. Oh, there's there's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys right there. Berger honestly can't do very much, which is fine with me. You guys are down there. Are we attacking? Why would we be attacking? Oh, I'm going to send you guys home as well. You're not looking very good. So come on to Bosnia. Not sure what I really call that a vacation, but hey, whatever. Hey, look at that. Poltava. Very good. Good job, guys. Got a loaning shirt, whatever. Or all stuff. Oh, we pieced out with the Chinese, I guess. Nice. And actually, because of that, I'm going to go do this too. They're only partially westernized, so. Ottoman aggression? What do you mean, Ottoman aggression? This is rifle Ottoman territory. Well, we're not really taking anything. We're just trying to liberate other people. We'll put it like that. Oh, the Soviet Union is going to be completely shattered. Love it. Um, just in case, stay down here, too. Oh, they're gassing us still. When can we get gas at defense? Oh, no! No! Oh, technically, we did lose. Oh, well, we lost everyone there. Holy crap. Well, a few casualties, or 59%, that's not bad. Well, yeah, technically, do they have gas defense? Wait, so the, we're attacking, but they have gas attack on us. How does that make any sense? That doesn't make any sense. Oh! Cool. So, dismantle their empire, that's very nice. Very good. Very good. Uh, I'll send you guys back down here, and you guys head down here. That'd be nice. You guys head down to there. You're looking like you're lacking quite a bit, so actually I'm going to send you down here, actually. Well, they're retreating anyway, so we can't really do anything about that. You guys head down to there. You guys go down there. Are we actually allied with you? Oh, we're not at war anymore, so... There you go. You're going to need some more strength. Now, we can let time go on just because I want to see 
what happens with uh, their empire. If any other guys appear, they're still moving, so no problem. Now we're fifth in the world for industry and the fifth in the world for military. Instead of sixth in the world, so not bad. Treaty Moscow, oh boy. The war is over, so we gotta wait a few years until we can go back to war. Excellent, and here we are. So we have the Soviet Union still here. They're still fairly strong. Actually, we've got better relations with them now, so let's look into that. Why not? Oh, now they're finally led by the Bolshevik Party. That makes much more sense now. Japan got this? Um. Okay. Kazakhstan here. Soviet Cocoa Land. No one has colonized this area yet. Georgia exists. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I can't be allies with you. I can't be allies with you either. Ukraine is here. Crimea is... Why are they all in J Alex, Japan and Japan's sphere? Belarus? Belarus? Nice. Uh, you know what? Actually, you're allied with them. Not a bad idea. But that's going to end today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we go to war with a Balkan nation. Maybe spawn, spawn World War I. Especially since I want to take out the United Kingdom. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.